Okay. And this is where I'm going to say that I wanted the mix and mold guy that did the plugin also did some tutorials on how to fix bones and things in recorded animations like this. And I'll show you in a minute because things don't always go perfect, right? You'll see what I mean as I slide down the way. So I've got a guy cheering, I've got a guy saluting, I've got this dude clapping and then sitting down in a chair. See if his hands, and this is part of the thing, if his hands don't, you know, look like they should be where they should in the end, you can, there's two things you can do. And, and, and when you get the animation, you can do what's called an arm turn, which pulls the arms out a bit. It may make his shoulders look funny, and then you might have to go in and redo that. Okay? Most times you can get away with it. You like this guy here waving. Now see, this looks a little weird, right? This this object in his uh, sides here, right? So you go back into the animation, okay? It's nothing wrong with what he, you know, it's not the character model work. It's how the process works with bones, right? Because what's happened here is part of the bone set, when I even imported it, told me there's a little bit of an issue, right? So you do this, and then you just take that, and when it's recording it, you just put it where you want to put it, like hanging down, right? And then it's done. And then you can put that on a spline, and then there he is crawling. And see how his hand is going under the ground there? You can also then take his hand, position it, his whole arm a little higher, or something like that, and then it works better, right? Okay? That's just sort of the things of, of you know, I've got really good tutorials for a lot of stuff, right? So, and the reason for that is that way your brain doesn't have to completely remember every little da 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 da, da because it's so much to remember, right? But as you get going and doing things more, you will eventually find that it's like a second nature. Like, things I think are just simple to me, you know, people are like, oh, Oh, you know a lot of shit. Well, it, it may seem that way, but it doesn't to me. It just, you know, it's like uh, muscle memory. That's the words, right? It becomes muscle memory the more you do things, right? And this is just sort of, you know, right? So you could have a guy going, all right, sir. Yep, no problem. And you have a bunch of guys. And there's different, different poses for these types of chairs and everything else. It, it doesn't have to look like everybody's doing the same thing. And you can even slow it down, speed it up, so it doesn't look good, or, or it looks uh, more organic. Like, you know, um, one guy's arm isn't doing it as fast, or, you know, all this stuff. That, that makes a scene for the eyeballs of the, the viewer to think, hey, that's more realistic looking. It doesn't just look contrived, right? You know. Anyway. Just a quick one, All right? And this is just to show. And, and what I'll do is I'll come back. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit late, and I got to do the Grim Dawn video. But I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll even post a link to the video that shows to fix the bone. So I'll start doing some of this stuff where, you know, I'm kind of showing what I do and what I don't do, and how I come to do certain things, and, you know. We start with basic assets like this, right, that come with a developer pack, and then we take pieces of things and put them into other stuff, too. Like, I'm taking, um, where is he? Uh, I don't know. Where is that bear, dude? I'm making a base for these guys based on some sci-fi stuff that some other guys did and taking some assets from different packs of sci-fi all over the place and doing something original, right? And then you got the Stargate stuff for this thing. And, and uh, a guy showed me a way we got talking about widgets and things. I, I just, you know, stuff that I'm going, oh no, I don't know how to do that. I'm going to figure it out. I will. This, this is the way my brain works. I, I just don't give up until I get it done. Right? That's how it works. I've been like that for, uh, I got drunk one time on a weekend. And by the end of the weekend, I had, 
Unix box bots working on Windows back in the late 90s so that I could automate some things. And I was like, it took me five days sober to figure out what I did. <laughs> it's like, oh no, what did I do? But anyway, you don't need to get drunk to do things. But anyway, that's just sort of, but yeah, so, you know, woohoo. That's right, man. Get up and clap. That's right. <laughs> right? See, like here, watch his hand. See, it goes down through his leg. You can fix that with an arm, either the arm trim of the animation when you import it, or you can go into, um, you right click on the animation and it, it's got a, like a recording of it. Then you just go to where it, it goes in there and you position things so that it doesn't do that. And then you're done. Right? Just let the recording go a little more. Let the recording go a little more. And you know, and you and you 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 go through this process, right? It's a bit tedious to fix things up, but then you know you don't want it looking like crap, right? This just makes it more specific to each type of character, right? Yeah. Okay, signing off. All right, guys, I'll be into Grim down here tonight and get that done so that, you know, either tonight or tomorrow somebody can have a look at those devotion points. And like I say, you got questions about the game or stuff I do here, ask me and I'll try and figure something out to help you out. Um, take care.